Hello, Mr. Niren here. Welcome to Dragon Age Origins. <coughs> we'll continue the let's play. Let's load the latest save. Castle the coal coastland. Let's load the game. It's been three days since I played the first episode. <coughs> Just eight. Um, so yeah. My speaking ability will improve after a while. I usually uh, do a poor job after I've eaten. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. I wanted to do the video immediately. Took some time to... Took a while to load. <coughs> Alright, so this game is developed by the same developer that developed Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and, uh, but not the second game. It's the same developer that developed the first game. <coughs> but this game is from 2009, and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is from 2008. Two or two thousand three, I believe two thousand three. Yeah. Or two. I'm not certain. Right, we will continue. Very well. Alright, we'll attack these guys. Tell us. Fuck yeah, they're there. They're blood splatter, but... outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? Alright, so we have blood splatter in this game, as you saw, but they can also behead people and stuff such, but th that only happens when, when we have a critical hit, which is uh, not always the case. Th I believe there is a certain percentage each uh, battle or each fight uh, that we will get a critical hit, and uh, when we get a critical hit they will behead the enemy and such. <coughs> so I'm fine, what's going on? Or two, I was about to ask you that. So I need to fix the microphone again. Alright, so... Uh, I'm fine, what's going on? The scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? <coughs> Run, his betrayed father. He attacks while our troops are gone. Or two, I don't know, mother. But you need to get out of here. Three, maybe you want to find Ho and ask him. <coughs> maybe you want to find Ho and ask him. I don't know, mother, but you need to get out of here. We'll go for the third one. If Howe is behind this, I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. One, no I haven't. I was in my room, or two, maybe he stayed up to Earl Howe. Or three, he could already be dead, mother. <coughs> uh, so I think we'll go for one. We must find him! One, maybe you should stay here. Two. Can you still handle a weapon, mother? 
3. Sounds like the battles downstairs. 4. Should we should check on Oriana and Oren as well. <coughs> we'll go for... Uh, we should check for Oriana and Oren as well. And trust his mercy. What if the soldiers went into your brother's room first? Let's check on them quickly. Then we'll look for Bryce downstairs. Right. So we are joined. We'll loot these guys. I shall do it. Noble tire. Give him her this sword. She has giant sword. I don't believe this one can have a shield. Okay. Innocence. Why would they do this? I'll make them pay. Don't look, mother. So uh, I will, I will take uh, one. Why would they do this? I was not even taking hostages. He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor fuckers! Let's go. I don't want to see this. Nothing to loot here. most of it. I don't want to go out yet. Oh dear Ladra. I'm I'm so sorry. If she hadn't come to me. If she hadn't been here. We can salvage some things here, darling. Some of your father's belongings are in that trunk. Greenstone. Good. We got a lot of stuff here. We want to give to our ally, the main character's mother. Real. Great 
sword. Coastland ceremonial longbow. That's pretty good. She doesn't have a helmet yet. <coughs> Can you hear the fighting? House men must be everywhere. One, what should we do? Two, then we should take the fight to them. Three, how can we get out of here, mother? Uh, I don't want to you endanger mother. How can we get out of the castle? Uh, so uh, we should take the fight to them. Don't be foolish. You would throw your life away? The front gates. That's where your father must be. Is there nothing else we can do? Can't you let's hove in? But your father is there. Well, let's go. If Hal's men are inside. They must already control the castle. We must use the servants entering the larder <coughs> to escape. Do you hear me? One, I hear you. Two, I want Ho dead. Three, you don't know that that's true. Four, you don't need to tell me twice. Okay. One, I hear you. Then let us be swift. Get something in here. Small shield added. I think it sucks in comparison. We won't use it. Yeah. Thought we would get the helmet here. I believe I got the helmet. Last time. Maybe we get different stuff each time. That sucked. I wanted to give the, the mother a helmet too. The castle has fallen! I'm getting out of here! Perseid, don't be a coward, stand and fight. Y yes, my lady! Here here they come! You will join the bath. <laughs> Follow me all the way here or not? Then we're fucked and I will have to restart.
heal ourselves. It went worse than I'd hoped. I believe now our allies might be dead. Guys, I shall do it. Deep mushroom. Did they do? After chewing a deep mushroom, the user regains a small amount of stamina. No stamina. Cold damage. Resistance. Okay. the game Guys, we have to know this save. Here in bad 
Crap. Get the reload. Locked up. Good. Move on. So I wanted my allies to be resurrected here. Still an enemy outside with a bow. You can still lose. dies I should always every character that I build there I don't know how I have fucked up there can't add the healing Soldiers outside. We are alone, held. We are alone, held. Played alone without recording, it 
did way better. I didn't die at all. I lost uh, a few times too, but uh, I played once uh, this entire chapter without dying. It went really well. Fortunately, I didn't uh, record. Oh, I need healing. Shattering shot, archer. <coughs> the archer fires a shot designed to open up a weak spot in the target's armor. Rapid shot. Down for the healing potions. We need to give her healing potions immediately. Right. It went favors this time. As you say, treat a retreat.
got that gun too. I shall do it. The retreat again. Bonus cold resistance, fire resistance, or nature resistance. Okay. Is here too. It isn't much worse than did the last time when I played. Beware. I swear it. Black vellum added. Add a ring to, to Lisa. instantly regains a small amount of health.
Save here. Right away. Oh, I have a board it too. Leather helm added. Nice. There we got the helm. You wanted. I'll go. I'll go. Likely. Oh, that's that's our friend. Man the gate. Hey, well, Keep those bastards out as long as you can. To some extent. Your ladyship, my lady, you're both alive. I didn't I was like certain how men had gotten through. They did get through. How? How? Uh, how? Uh, treacherous bastard. Tree, have you seen my father? Uh, one, they did get through. They killed Oriana. And Oren. I can't believe. Are you injured? Don't worry about me, ladyship. Thank the Maker, you two are unharmed. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hellsmen out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. One, we need to find father. Or two, where is the Grave Warden? Three, come with us. Or four, no, I'll help you hold the gate. It'll take three converters. If I do that, you won't make it out before the gates fall. Please, go while you have the chance. When I last saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. Let's a single one. We through. must go while we can. Where is the turn? Does he live? Where is the turn? Does he live? I shall do it. Still disappointed in that battle. I didn't want uh, the humans to, to die. So even if we won the battle, it felt like a loss to some degree. I almost want to replay it. They did a much better job in that battle previously. Enemies approaching! We'll go down there. Run! 
Oh, here are the servants. that many hopefully they won't follow all the way over here they are coming Much worse than it did when I played the last time. I don't know what the fuck is wrong. I literally managed to play that uh, this entire part without dying. Now we died three or four times. Very well. ourselves here Run! Run! 
on. This is the place where the king used to be. Or the lord, I mean. Not the king, the lord. We're getting close to the treasury. The Kuzlan family blade lies inside. Here, darling, take my key. That blade cannot fall into Hal's hands. It should sever his treacherous head. Alright. It shall be done. Is begun. All right, we got some stuff here. Helmet. God, real. I thought they got some boots. As you say, family sword added, family free. Sword. Yeah, I do think the family sword is even better. Nice. I missed that sword the last time. Say the game. Leave this place. 
much better sword now. Let's save again. It's annoying to replay the fight this area. It. it was far away, couldn't see it clearly. This was the chapel or the church. Fire crystal added. Fine treated lamb, lamb again. Suitable for exact illustration and script. Another ring could be added. Oh, apprentice amulet. Plus five fire resistance. Wall resistance, electricity resistance. H. It's been all, but it was really good. Earth and shield. Belt. It's been armor. It's 10 nature damage. Nice. Fire crystal. Use crushing a fire crystal gives the user a small bonus to fire resistance for a short time. Well, it had that. Spirit resistance.
wonder if enemies respawn, probably. Move up here. Chapel again. It's a bit difficult to find our way. Circles, bit annoying. Enemies. Would be. I mean, I, I did this entire section without dying previously, and now I die all the time. So it's really annoying. Main hall. 
any room your room Burgess room Taylor Coastlands room guest room guard post treasury Chapel Again, didn't get any help from those guys. Fuck, we have to restart. Last save game. <coughs> I'm starting to get annoyed at this place. Aided. They might be bosses over here. More enemies ahead.
to have been controlling the dog. Try again. We lose this one. I believe if we had controlled the, the mother, we could have healed her, but we can't heal the dog. Fuck is the healing potions? Did it kill them? Yeah, the bow is really good. Let's see, one twenty one, seven, one hundred two. Good. They went better than I hoped. Is there health? All decided. Very good. Right away. alive buckle of the winds added nice Treasure might be some stuff here that we want. Greenstone added. Oh, 
find anything here. Note. Ah, uh, we are not there. Let's see. If that is what you wish. I'll go. You both are. I was. Bryce! Wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding! Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. One, why is Ho doing this? Two, we need to get you out of here. Three, how did you get here? You can hardly move. Four, I kill Hav for what he's done. So Hav's men found me first, almost. It mean right here. But is Hav doing this? He can't get away with this. The king will... Bryce, we must get you out of here. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. That's not true, you'll be fine. Or two, get up, let's go. And three, then we will stay and defend you. Four, then we'll simply have to drag you out. Uh, let's see. Then we will stay and defend you. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. Run and take vengeance, too. That, that he is the new Tairn. <coughs> Tairn. Three. Hal must have to do something planned for him, too. Four. You can tell him yourself, Father. Take vengeance. Yes. Vengeance. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, <coughs> find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. Howe's men have not yet discovered this exit, turn. but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My daughter helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. One, are you going to help us, Duncan? Two, I'm surprised you haven't already left. Three, thank you for saving my father. Four, can you do something about how? Not here. There are too many men. And they seem as willing to kill me as they are all of you. Flight is the only option. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, I beg you. Take my wife and daughter to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. One, are you talking about me? Two, what about Sir Gilmore? Three, what? No, I won't agree to any such thing. Four, what if something happens to Fergus? And what about Sir Gilmore? Truthfully, you were always my first choice. I will take the Tirna and your daughter to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then your daughter joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. <coughs> One, I accept your offer. Two, I refuse. I won't go. <coughs> Three, my duty is to take vengeance on Arl Ho. Four, but what if Fergus is dead? I go with. I accept your offer. We must leave quickly then. Rysa, are you sure? Our daughter will not die of Hal's treachery. She will live and make her mark on the world. Darling, 
Go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. Mother, are you sure you want to do this? Two, I won't let you sacrifice yourself. Three, we can find another way. We can fight. Four, I love you both so much. We'll go for We can find another way. We can fight. So we all die? No. Your place is now with the Grey Wardens. Mine is with your father, at his side, to death and beyond. I'm so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life, and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go, now. Goodbye, darling. Alright. And that's the end of the chapter. So I did really poorly today. I mean, I finished that part without dying previously. Now I die like five times. So yeah, I'm not happy with how that went. But at least we're done now took way longer than it should have. I was far from as uh, um, well played as I should have. Okay. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. One, are you not even aware my father is dead? Two, yes, your majesty, my name is Alyssa. Three, yes I am. I bring important news. So, two, yes, your majesty, my name is Alyssa. Your brother has already arrived with High Ever's men. But we are still awaiting your father. It's not coming, he died when our castle was taken. Two, you don't know what's happened? Three, oh, I think you'll be waiting for some time yet. Go for one. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here. I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. <coughs> One, thank you, Your Majesty. Two, there isn't anything you can do sooner. Three, what kind of justice? One, thank you, Your Majesty. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. One, but he, he may be in danger. Two, when will he return? Three, <coughs> I am not eager to tell him, Your Majesty. So we will go for two, when will he return? Not until the battle is over, I fear. Until then, we cannot even send word. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. One, thank you, your majesty. Two, so long as all hope pays, I'm happy. Three, what would you know about my grief? Four, thanks for nothing then. Okay. One, thank you, Your Majesty. 
I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Logain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. One, I didn't realize things were going so well. Two, it sounds like the blight is almost over. Three, you sound very confident of that. I go for one, I didn't realize things were going so well. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. <coughs> Disappointed, your majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. <laughs> okay. no, one, yet you don't sound very re reassured. Two, he didn't seem to take Darkspawn very seriously. Three, perhaps this isn't a blight after all. <coughs> go for two. Mm, true. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. One, then maybe we should move quickly. Two, what would you have him do? Three, why not? He seems to regard the Grey Wardens highly. Four, could if he were not such a fool. He could if he were not such a fool. Five, do you think there's any danger? Uh, what would you have him do? Wait for reinforcements. We sent a call out west to the Grey Wardens of Orlais, but it will be many days before they can join us. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Do you mean... Uh, what do you need me to do? Or to... What do you mean? What ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining, in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. <coughs> One, what do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there, should you need to. Alright. You won't need the helmet here. We might have stuff we want to keep. Ring. A ring, a silver ring. I have no idea what rings are better and what, are, what rings are worse. The kill of the winds, will it keep it? Let's see here, plus three defense, plus one armor. Plus one armor, 10% nature damage. Maybe that's better. Let's um, let be equipped again. So the short bow. Six, zero, zero, range 22. I think this one is better. Lance Longbow. You will not see here some on your shield. 
don't need a helmet right now. Back here first, check this area. This is the map. Make her watch Go. over you, my lady. Highway, move over there. Speak to this guy now, guard. Today, two units of men arrived every hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Still, the ten worries that may not be enough. Tower of Ishal is off limits. The men stationed inside are securing it now. <clears throat> What's the Tower of Ishal? I think they used it once to watch for wilders coming out of the forest. Why is the tower off limits exactly? By orders of Tern Logain. The tower is being secured by his men to be used during battle. I'm told they discovered some lower chambers, and they don't know how far down they go, so for now everyone's to stay out. Lower chambers? I didn't see anything like that when I was there, but who knows? <clears throat> this is a pretty large ruin. Goes back to the time of the Tevinter Imperium. Dwarven make. That's probably why it's still standing. I should go. Make a speed your steps. Make her watch over you, my lady. Can't jump down and die. Seems to be some buildings down there. Banners. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit the duck. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? <coughs> Where's Duncan's tent? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the royal encampment. Most of your fellows are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. <coughs> I'm looking for a grave warden named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the majors. Tell me about Ostagar. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loghain's closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Alright, here's the King. Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes, even without his bodyguards, drives Tan Logain wild, that does. <clears throat> Is there anywhere to get supplies? Quartermaster. He's just a bit to the northwest. Circle of Maggie's here. A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. It gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, 
bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Do I hear dogs barking? This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the darkspawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. <clears throat> I want to ask you something else. Go on, then. I'll be on my way. Good luck to you, then. Harry Wilds, Quartermaster, Farmer, Dog Kennels, Logan's Tent, Duncan's Fire, Incalian's Tent, Alistair Yoning the Grey Wardens. Okay, we go there last. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Don't know where the king is. I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. Perse, tell me about the king. You must see him a lot. I suppose I do, but it wouldn't be prudent to discuss the king's business with you. I should go. As you wish. You approach the tent of Town Loghain. State your business. Tell me about Terran Loghain. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Terran. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Is Terran inside? What is he doing? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Per se, truly you can tell me a little about him. Per se, I would like an audience with the Terran, please. We go for three. Don't be absurd. He can't give an audience to everyone who walks up here, you know? I'm not used to anyone. My father is... was Terran Coastland. Lie, I have a message for the Grey Wardens. Per se, truly you can tell me a little about him. Well, I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. The Terran's known the King since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Terran speaks his mind, and the King yells right back. Personally, I think the King should do what Terran Logan tells him. Without the Terran, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. I should go. Very well. Look carefully, man. Make her watch this thing you, is a lady. dark spawn. They're strong and cunning. I'll see you. But don't listen to my those father said Terran Logan is they a hero. Killed. The kingdom was lucky enough here and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood and you may as well just get your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful to go. There were lots of dark we're spawn, we different are. kinds. We're Is it my imagination or the smell of that of. forest getting worse? Our short friend here, for instance, you. is something called a genlock. How do you They're do? pretty common in the hall, but we've seen others much larger. We don't know where these new dark spawn are coming from or what they can do. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these dark spawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. Aren't we receiving a large number of reinforcements from the Grey Wardens in Orlay soon? Why do the Darkspawn not parlay with the King? They just mindlessly throw themselves to their deaths upon our blades. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the Fade, for there is no darkness nor death in the Maker's light. Hail to you! How do you do? Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Oh. 
Evet. It shall be done. Leather boots. Added. The wall before me is darkness, yet shall the maker's light be my guide. She and mail added. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the The last scouting party made it back last night. Barely. What do you mean? Only two of them made it. And one of mine is a leg. All this nonsense talk stopped immediately. Started leather helm. Take it. Natural fish was putting gossip into the ground with small clothes out of town. I see nothing to suggest that the darkspawn drag our people underground to eat them. And I want this talk about darkspawn and slaves into oil. You approach the tent of Terran Logain. State your business. Is the tent inside? What is he doing? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Okay. Very well. We stand here in this hour, good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friend. Hail, Grey Warden. Should it find Quiet. You, I'm trying you to listen. Failed your king. How do you do? Your maker. Aren't we receiving a Die large number of reinforcements from the Grey Wardens in Orlaisu? If you'd excuse me, we are we praying. Shh. I'm trying Come to listen. To death, gladly, well met. But with the knowledge that evil has been held at bay Hail by your you. spilled blood, and if you go to stand beside the Maker, go with our blessing, for you shall not be forgotten. Mm. Let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. Pleased to meet you, or I am Lisa or Tree. I've seen quite a few mages today. Skovit, pleased to meet you. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Gran, will you be fighting beside the king? Two, King Kalian thinks the battle will go well. Three, it's not luck, but skill that will save us. <coughs> Two. The king must always seem confident. His behavior affects the troops' morale. He does seem to find his enthusiasm easily, though. Reminds me of a puppy. And I say that with both respect and affection. He is a fine man. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. You faced Darkspawn before. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? I know the Fade is where you go when you dream. Any time your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. What is the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. And is that true? Two, I've heard that story before. Three, Chant says many things. One. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Don't you have any proper advice? Two, at least kill every darkspawn I see. Three, at least it's something to ponder. I'll go for two. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. <laughs> right. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half well dogs are sick from darkspawn blood. It's terrible. Right. Don't go there yet. You there, elf. 
What's if you, your name? If you have business with the Ash Warriors, it, it, I suggest picked, you speak sir. to our commander. Don't tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. We must see to our hounds. To an Ash Warrior, a hound is as much a weapon as a blade. We are preparing for battle. This is a solemn time for us. If you have business with the Ash Warriors, I suggest you speak. What do you need? You haven't brought more instructions from the turn, I hope. No, I haven't. Two more instructions. Three. Do you talk to everyone like that? They go for. No, I haven't. If you're not from the turn, what do you want? We're busy. I will leave your. <coughs> One, I will leave you to your business. Two, you don't look like the other soldiers in the army. Three, can I ask you something? Go for two. We aren't. We're ash warriors. One, I will leave you to your business. Two, what is an ash warrior? Three, you're obviously not made of ash. Four, can I ask you something? We'll go for two. Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the dwarves. It is an old tale. So what does an ash warrior do? We harness the rage inside us, nurture it, and draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a dwarven discipline, but we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. I have a Mabari hound of my own. Then you are most fortunate. A trained Mabari hound is as dangerous as any sword. We do not speak of a city pet or, or those things that sit in an old woman's lab. What are you preparing for? <coughs> Why have you painted your dogs? You go for two. To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Darkspawn horde. With luck. We'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Two survives the blood. Do you mean? Three. I have you painted your dogs. You go for two. Darkspawn blood is poisonous, and not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The wardens say that tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. <coughs> Wouldn't it be smarter to leave your dogs behind? They fight at our side. We don't fret over their safety as if they were children. Two, why have you painted your dogs? They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with caddis, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. Alright, too, what if the enemy is painted with caddis as well? <laughs> Why? Would you steal our caddis and give it to the Darkspawn hordes? <coughs> One, absolutely not. Two, I hope you're joking. Three, if the reward was right, why not? We go for... One, absolutely not. Good. I hear death is unpleasant. One, I should be going. My thanks. There is something to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Hello? I I'm sorry, is there something you needed? <coughs> no, I just wanted to talk. Three, what do you mean? I deliver messages around the camp. You have a message for me? <coughs> One, no, sorry to bother you. Two, no, I just wanted to talk. Lie, yes I do. We go for no, I just wanted to talk. You want to talk to me? I I'm not in trouble, am I? <coughs> Three, are you? I don't think so. I'm one of the king's servants, which means I run messages around and make deliveries all day long. If you fall behind, you get the switch from the quartermaster. Oh, I wish I were back at the palace. There are far more places to hide. I better go. If the quartermaster sees me chatting, he'll think I'm being lazy, and that'll be my hide. But it was nice talking to someone. good to have Grey Wardens amongst us. With their help, perhaps we can push these things back underground for good. Why do the Darkspawn not parlay with the King? 
They just mindlessly throw themselves to their deaths upon our blades. Hail. You're one of Duncan's new recruits, correct? I can't let you through to the Kulkari Wilds until he gives the word. I not. The Kulkari Wilds is a dangerous place. More so now that it crawls with Darkspawn. They say the Great Blight began deep within its forests. One of our scouting patrols has been gone for three days. We're taking bets on who got them first, the Darkspawn or the Witches of the Wilds. Witches of the Wilds? Oh, sure. There's an old legend in these parts about Flemeth, the apostate sorceress who conquered this area centuries ago. She united the chasing barbarians and invaded the farmlands. That's when the great hero, Cormac, destroyed her army with his. Took her head right off, so they say. Her daughters survived and became the Witches of the Wild. Tales tell of them plaguing this area since. Mostly superstitions, stealing babies and spoiling milk. <coughs> and you think these witches exist too? So I mentioned them if they're just superstition. Go for one. Only when it's dark and the wind is bad. No doubt those patrols met some dark spores. That's enough for anyone to worry about. At any rate, that's why Duncan doesn't want you wandering out without his say so. Right. You found our tent, I see. Is there something you need? I'm ready to begin the, the yawning ritual. Then you will need to locate Alistair and tell him it is time. I'm not certain where he went off to. Knowing him, I'm not sure I want to know. Hail to you! Andraste, I bless you today. Hail to May you. you find favor in the Maker's eyes. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. <coughs> I am. Who are you? Yes, I am Melissa. You heard of about me? Not a great deal. We've been waiting for your arrival, though. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I was not aware they permitted women to join the Grey Wardens. None of those I've seen thus far have been. I'd rather not talk about it. Two, I am a warrior, just as you are. Three, perhaps they saved the best for last. Four, is that a problem for you? <coughs> is that a problem for you? You obviously impressed Duncan, and that's enough for me. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? <coughs> One, I'm curious about joining the ritual. Two, aren't you nervous about fighting the Orc spawn? Three, I wouldn't be here if I had a choice in the matter. <coughs> Four. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Five. You're not all that smart, are you? I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? Only that it's dangerous. Two. It's all a big secret, apparently. Three. You don't like the idea. I will go for... Only that it's a dangerous. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Your Legion Grey Wardens would be a great support in the coming battle. Today, two units of men arrived every hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Still, the ten worries that may not be enough. If you'll excuse me, we are praying. Hail to you. 
Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? I will, thank you. Then I bless you, Grey Warden, <coughs> in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No, I haven't. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. I'll see what I can do. Why would I want to help you? Tell me why you're in there first. Four, that's horrible. Why haven't they fed you? Five, forget it. I need to go. Three, tell me why you're in there first. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it though. Armies are funny that way. Did you desert? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. See what I can do? It matters to me. If your cause is just. Three, if you weren't deserting, why sneak around the camp? Why haven't they fed you? It matters to you, if, uh, to me, if your cause is just. <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you, dearie. How about you marry me instead? At least I could get a kiss before they hang me. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. See what I can do? Why would I want to help you? Why haven't they fed you? I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Who is this prisoner exactly? They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? Why did he want to desert? Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the dark spawn will drag you off and eat you. <clears throat> Seems a waste for you to guard him all day. I can't just let him go, can I? The army will figure out what to do with him. Probably just waiting for someone important to make a decision. Then they'll hang him, I expect. And I can go and do something else. Have a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. Claims he wasn't deserting. What a surprise. Another innocent prisoner. But anyway, it's not for me to say. He'll get his day to plead his case, or he won't. It's all the same to me. He asked for some food and water. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. <clears throat> what if I buy it? Has ten silver sand, two per aid, so you miss one meal. This man could be hanged soon. Three, then I guess I'll go. We'll go for two. So? It's not up to me to make sure he gets fed. One, what if I buy it? Has ten silver sand. Hmm, ten silver. Well, feed him if you want to. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Here's some food. You're the food of the prisoner. Much obliged. You're a kind soul, you are. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. Right, I had done that previously. Too. You. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. Why do you say that? I saw them. We're gonna die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. What's wrong with him? Aside from his wounds, we're not sure. His blood is untainted. He's just... terrified. You... you can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. 
They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. All right. I, I don't want to see any more. I closed my eyes and... Please just leave me be. I apologize if the soldier disturbed you. Ever since they found him in the wilds, he's been like this. It's so sad. It... I can feel it inside me. Welcome to the King's camp, my lady. I hope the Grey Wardens protect the King in the coming battle. He chose to fight alongside them. Sorry, miss. The army camp is off limits for you right now. Sorry, miss. The army camp is off limits for you right now. Right. I thought you'd be. And who are you? The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Do you know about this ritual? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. We'll see. Or two. So what? Wouldn't frighten me. Three, the wilds. Four, aren't there barbarians in the forest? We'll go for the wilds. We're right on the northern edge of the Kakari wilds here. Miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. One, I doubt they will send us into pointless danger. Two, why would they send us into the forest? Three, why are the wilds so frightening? Four, this seems like an old place for an army to camp then. Go for three. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. One, they're forcing you to be here. Two, I wouldn't be here if I did. Three, I'm looking forward to it. Four, I'll watch your back if, if you watch mine. Go for it. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> you sound just like the bloody knight. Well, more power to you. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Alright. About this girl. How do you do? Would have rather her had uh, the girl as the. One of the companions, but we get the only man here. It is begun. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Can't say I have no. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Do you help dragging this girl down? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do I'm than run errands for me. I can find her myself. What kind of supplies do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some... Uh, Goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Okay, this is Quartermaster. 
and this is a reporting enter. Right. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? You see your other goods. So long as you keep it quiet. Okay, so he has some bombs and other stuff. Alright, we're not gonna buy anything. Well met. How do you do? Welcome, young woman. Who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. You speak very strangely. Why? Why? <coughs> Two. You speak very strangely. Why is that? Or three? What is enchantment exactly? You go for two. Allow me to put it this way: Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? One. Chandra claims magic is sinful. Two. Because magic is powerful and dangerous. Three. Not entirely. No. Go for two. It is dangerous beyond its power. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. <coughs> One, it sounds like a horrid practice. Two, perhaps they should tranquil all mages then. Three, how is someone made tranquil? Four, I feel badly for you. Five, let's talk about something else. We go for how is someone made tranquil? Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. <clears throat> so, sounds like a horrid practice. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. Well, perhaps they should tranquil all mages then. You might feel differently were you a mage. Feel badly for you. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? <coughs> to what is enchantment exactly? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Two, what sorts of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. I should go. Goodbye. Hail to you!
I'm sorry, but there's so much to do before the battle. I must attend to my duties. Did you need something? May I fetch something for you? Alright. Down here. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. And so what? Two, you are a very strange man. Three, I know exactly what you mean. Four, that's a terrible thing to say. Go for three. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. One, we haven't met. You must be all stare. Two, don't worry, I'm no mage. Three, <coughs> would that make your day worse? You go for one. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. One, let's get on with it then. Two, pleased to meet you. My name is Elisa. Three, I can't prepare on my own. Huh? Four, can you tell me about this joining? Honestly, nothing. Uh, try not to worry about it. It will just distract you. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. One, you want some more women in the Wardens, do you? <coughs> Two, probably because we're too smart for you. Three, I can handle myself better than most. Four, how about you stop thinking of me as a woman? Okay, you want more women in the Wardens, do you? Would that be so terrible? Not that I'm some drooling lecher or anything. Please stop looking at me like that. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? <sighs> one, have you? Two, no, I haven't. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. Okay, two. That argument I saw, what was it about? Two, three. You don't have to accompany me, me do you? Four. What about the other recruits? Five. I look forward to traveling with you. I'll go for four. Dabith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? <coughs> One. Yes, both of them. That makes things easy then. They'll both be back with Duncan by now. Okay, to that argument I saw, what's it about? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. 
I was once a Templar. All right, one. It would be awkward. Two. You are a mage hunter. Three. What's a Templar? You don't know? Quick version then. The Chantry tries to control mages because they're dangerous. So they keep Templars that train to hunt down and kill apostates. That's what I was being trained as when Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. Alright, two, you don't have to accompany me, do you? Three, I look forward to traveling with you. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Alright. Yes? <clears throat> two, you don't really have to accompany me, do you? Don't worry. I'll try not to embarrass you. Two, tell me a little about yourself. Uh, as I said, I was trained as a Templar before Duncan recruited me about six months ago. The Chantry raised me. And becoming a Templar was a decision made for me a long time ago. Duncan saw I wasn't happy and figured my training against mages could double for fighting Darkspawn. Now, here I stand, a proud Grey Warden. The Grand Cleric wouldn't have let me go if Duncan never forced the issue. I'll always be grateful to him. Alright, one, I don't have anything else to ask. Two, you didn't want to join the ch Chantry. Three, you speak fond of Duncan. Four, I have a few questions for you. Go for three. I spent years in that Chantry, hopelessly resigned to my fate. Duncan was the first person who cared what I wanted. He risked a lot of trouble with the Grand Cleric to help me. Alright, Van, I don't have anything else to ask. Two, maybe Duncan thought you'd be useful. Or maybe he just happens to be a good man. <coughs> Two, you didn't want to join the Chantry. It just wasn't for me. I believe in the Maker well enough, but I never wanted to devote my life to the Chantry. Alright, I don't have anything else to ask you. I have a few questions for you. What about? To the grave wardens. So I imagine. What would you like to know? Um, to what makes you all so special? The grave wardens are warriors without equal. Darkspawn threatened to destroy the world four times over. Each time, the grave wardens led mankind to victory. Nobody knows more about Darkspawn, and nobody's better equipped to deal with them. You'll see. Trust me. All right. To the dead knights, heroes. I don't know if I'd go that far. Duncan says the Grey Wardens do whatever is necessary to protect mankind from Darkspawn. That means some pretty extreme things. Whatever it takes to bring victory. Alright. Two, I'm not sure I know anything about the Grey Wardens. But three, we're all, we are all the Grey Wardens now. Four, so the Grey Wardens have the right to recruit anyone. King Marek? Kalen's father, reaffirmed the power the Grey Wardens were given during the Blights. In practice, we can't conscript too often without hurting our cause. We were exiled from Ferelden once. Best not to let that happen again. Alright, two. I'm not sure I know anything about the Grey Wardens. Well, let's see. Surely you've heard of Weisselp's Fortress? The Great Eyrie carved into the White Cliffs far off in the Anderfeld? That's where the Grey Wardens once kept their griffins. The Griffins died out, however, and our numbers have dwindled since the last Blight. There's only a handful left in Ferelden. A few more in other nations. Alright, two. Where are all the Grey Wardens now? The others are camped with the King's soldiers in the valley. The 
King's given us a position of honor at the Vanguard, despite our small numbers. I think Kalen is actually excited to ride into battle with us. Maybe he thinks that's what his father would have done. All right, that's all I wanted to know. You want to ask me about something else? The blight Duncan mentioned. Of course. This blight Duncan mentioned. So what is a blight? Where do darkspawn come from? You want the Chantry's version or the truth? <coughs> they aren't the same thing. <laughs> they seldom are. Alright, give me the truth then. The truth is we don't really know. They come up from the ground. And that's as far as we've gotten. Alright. So what it is, so what you talked about was the first blight. Yes, and it nearly wiped us out. When defeated, the Darkspawn flee back underground and seek out another old god to taint, thus bringing another blight. Alright. So here's the Archdemon for this blight. We haven't seen it yet. People are beginning to think this is just an unusually large Darkspawn raid without an Archdemon to unify them. But seriously, the Archdemon could be in the wilds or underground. It could be hiding. Just because it hasn't shown itself doesn't mean it isn't out there. Alright. Two, why not kill the darkspawn when they're underground? Three, what is the archdemon exactly? Four, why are some people so skeptical? Five, I have other questions about the blight. Let's go for two. They've controlled the deep roads ever since they defeated the Dwarven Kingdoms. Even if we invaded, we can only chase them so far. What is an archdemon exactly? Why are some people so skeptical? The Grey Wardens killed so many Darkspawn by the end of the last blight. People decided they were gone for good. I have other questions about the blight. Of course. How do Grey Wardens defeat the blights? We chop off the snake's head. It's the only way. According to texts, the most famous Grey Warden leader, Garahel, killed the Archdemon Underal in personal combat at the Battle of Aesley to end the last blight. Without the Archdemon to command them, the Darkspawn flee back underground. All right. How did anyone even know about this blight? The Grey Wardens keep watch. We feel the Darkspawn when they come. You'll understand after the joining, if you s Well, you'll understand. Not to mention people start to notice when Darkspawn pour out of the wilds and taint everything around them. Just a guess. Alright. Is there many Darkspawn are out there? Thousands. Tens of thousands. They've had centuries to build up their numbers. That's all I wanted to know. You want to ask me about something else? Tell me about Duncan. Duncan is the leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. Which he would say doesn't mean much, as there aren't many of us here. Yet, beyond that, he's a good man. A good judge of character. I owe him a lot. What about you? What do you think of him? I'd rather keep my thoughts to myself, too. He seems like a kind man. If firm. Three, I can't say I care very much for what I owe him. Well, he saved me. I go for two. Fair enough. He's done the best he can with what little he has. And that includes me, I guess. You want to ask me about something else? Joining ritual. There's not a lot I can tell you. We go and collect Darkspawn blood. And then you'll hear everything. Alright. First say truly really you can tell me something. I... I really can't. I'm sorry. You want to ask me about something else? <coughs> the upcoming battle. The one tomorrow. I'll tell you. It's Tan Loghain we should be looking to win it, not the king. Kaelin just wants his place in history. The Tan is planning the strategy. Uh, that's my opinion, anyway. I guess I should be thankful the king favors us Grey Wardens. But I know who's keeping the lid on the pot. Alright. <coughs> How much will I be participating? 
You know, that's a good question. The other Grey Wardens are riding into battle with the King. I don't know if you'll be with them. Alright, why is it happening here of all places? We're at the edge of the Korkari Wilds, the eye of the Blight Storm, right where the Horde will be coming. Ostagar itself is an excellent defensive position. The Wilders were pushed back from here time and again in ancient days. Alright, what are the chances of success? I'm sure Tern Loghain has the battle plan to the last detail. Still, no Blight has ever been defeated with so little cost. Alright, what if we fail? If we don't break the Horde here, Duncan says it will spread until it engulfs all of Ferelden. Then it will take an alliance of nations to fight it. Which would be bad. Neither the King nor the Terran really seems to believe this is a real blight, however. Alright. That's all I wanted to know. You want to ask me about something else? <clears throat> I have no more questions. Then let's get a move on, shall we? He joined us. Back to Duncan. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for them. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the maids, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I... apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. One for each recruit. All right. And what's the second task? Two. Do we need darkspawn blood for three go into the wilds it's not that dangerous four surely you could have uh, acquired some blood before now finally some action it's the fifth option go for two for the joining itself i'll explain more once you've returned and what's the second task there was once a gray warden archive in the wilds abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts it has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Find the archive and three vials of blood understood. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Alright, now we got joined by two others we had spoken to previously. Yes? <coughs> Where are you from, David? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've been in Denerim for, what, six years now? Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. You're a cat purse. And a pickpocket, thank you very much. Or was, anyhow. Who'd ever guess I'd end up a Grey Warden? Right, so how did the Grey Wardens find you? I found them. I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. 
He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were gonna string me up right there. Okay, what happened then? Duncan stopped them, invoked the right of conscription. I gave the garrison their finger while I was walking away. Don't know why Duncan wants someone like me, but he says finesse is important and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> right, so what do you think of Duncan? All right for an old bugger. He's faster than he looks too. Okay, what do you think you should do now? You heard the same speech I did. Blood and old treaties. Off we go into the wilds. Let's go. Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? How do you do? I am ready. Said you were from Redcliffe. I hail from Redcliffe, but Duncan recruited me in Hyover, a city off the northern coast. Have you traveled there? Okay, my father was lord of the town. My lady Kusland. I'm honored. I was in Arleman's retinue when he attended King Marek's funeral. It was in Hyover that I met my Helena. I was smitten. She has the most beautiful eyes, my Helena. Now, for years I found any excuse to return there. We married a year ago. Arleman gave me leave to serve in Hyover, but I was attempting to persuade Helena to come to Redcliffe with me, at least until I was recruited. All right. So you abandoned her? Never. I will return to her once my duty is done and the blight defeated. How did the Grey Wardens find you? Last month Duncan visited Hyover and the ban held a tournament in his honor. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago and she is heavy with child now. But Ferelda needs my blade and I shall not falter. Right. Do you think of Duncan? He has a seemingly impossible task, with a scarce handful of Grey Wardens, yet he does not complain or flinch from his duty. What do you think we should do now? We need to find those documents and the Darkspawn blood. It should be... interesting. Let's go. Indeed. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Alright, we're outside. Ferelden. Played a little bit longer than this previously, but we'll end here. We won't do anything outside. We'll just gear up the, the party, give them some new gear, and then we will save and exit. Here we get our Mabari Warhand back to so you have five part numbers. Four plus the hand. These guys are temporary part members. The leather helm, rough. Give him a helmet too. We'll 
we'll save here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye. I'm too tired to continue. So you have a full party. Now these um, party members are not real party members except the dog. Uh, which is an extra party member thanks to mod. The others are just party members in this mission I believe. I don't believe they are real. Okay. We'll get others later. So thank you for watching. Bye.